Okay, this is why you don't want to leave your Fresnel lens outside unattended. I had one lens one time with the stand attached and the wind blew the lens so that it was horizontal and as the sun moved it went right across the center bar which I don't we took those off because of that the center bar which gave the, the stand more stability uh, it the whole lens just burned up we made one out of metal one time but then I made the mistake of uh, picking it up by there after it had been sitting for a while and uh, fortunately I had a pair of gloves on and they melted right to the uh, rail so we don't even mess with support bars on this we just hold the lens as still as possible and get it positioned well okay okay if you notice the size what I've done is I've the optimal focal length for this Fresnel lens is right there you can see that the wood instantly catches on fire now, if you notice on the, the cement block below, it's focused away. What this does is this enables you to use the Fresnel lens to boil water without destroying all your stuff. So what I have here is I have a pan that fits there perfectly. Now, what you'll notice is that the pan will start, the water that's in the pan right now will start to evaporate. And I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Let the pan heat up and I'll show you how you can use these to cook with. Okay, this has been setting for a little over 30 seconds. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some water in here to simulate. This pan, this lens isn't at optimal length, but the, the pan the whole area you end up with a five inch area that gets hot and you can see it's not a really violent heat it's a more even heat so if you were cooking anything you would just do it at a more gentler pace if you were to move it up to here that would just be way too much for uh, for any you'd basically vaporize your food This lens has been on the cement block for two minutes. As you can see it's already started to melt a crater into it. Which is kind of amazing considering that uh, these blocks are fired at like 2800 degrees to form them. And the block is white so it reflects a lot of the heat. I'm going to shut the lens off. One small Slim Jim like this has 160 calories in it. I'm going to try and figure out why they have so many calories. You can see that it's completely burning the fat right off of it.
Back to the Slim Jim. I'm gonna put a small piece of uh, tree bark on there. <laughs> 